But how, Jack? Well, there's always something. It's a man-made island, right? So surely there must be environmental concerns. What we need is some type of an action group that would have an interest in artificial intrusions in the bay. The Sierra Club. What's a Sierra Club? Uh, they're only the most influential environmental group around. Surely they can help us. Of course. Well, that's perfect. Do you know anyone as a member? Know them. I used to date their chairman of the board. <laughs> <laughs> we once chained ourselves to a ficus tree together. Sauce? That was you. I'll call him today. Okay, that's a great start. What else can we do? Oh. Anything. Uh, flyers, picket signs, reaching out to the press. I'll call the newspaper. I can make up some flyers. <laughs> and leave the picket signs to me. I love making picket signs. Okay, this is great, everybody, but there is just one thing. What's that? All of this is going to require money. money. We can come up with the money, right, guys? How much? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Looks like we've got ourselves a real group of activists here. Real friends of the peer committee, if you ask me. Yes, sir. And now that we've established a committee, we need a committee chair. Great idea. I nominate you, Jack. I respectfully decline, Sheila. I am a thinker, not a political what? figure. Isn't that the same thing? Ooh. Not my I nominate Larry. Me? Yeah, oh, sure no, thing. I, I, You're a bright guy, well spoken, yeah. and you've always got your nose stuck in that side. But I, I show of hands for Chairman Larry. Yeah. Chairman yeah. Larry! And the fight began. Jack was like a, a guiding hand. Larry is top lieutenant. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, no. You're not telling them enough. Well, but I'm just getting getting started still. Huh? I'll get yes. to your part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the islands. Tell them about the islands. Oh, the oh. island. Well, the island was more than just an island. It was more like a... It was a fancy schmancy resort club kind of place for rich people. I'll tell them. City manager Scott and his developer cronies were going to build the island out of the remnants of the breakwater. You see those jagged rocks out in the bay? Those used to be the breakwater. This used to be a yacht harbor, you know? Haven't you ever read that famous arch blue neon sign, Santa Monica Yacht Harbor? Anyway, they were going to use those rocks, bring in some more rocks, and make this fancy island out of a out of a convention center and a shopping plaza and a skyscraper hotel and a bunch of other fancy schmancy stuff. Okay, I now just wait a minute there. Don't you wait a minute, me. The island will provide more entertainment value, more opportunities, and much needed jobs for everyone. Everyone! It's the best solution for everyone. Oh, everyone. sure, they said there'd still be better fishing, too. But we all knew better. <laughs> that island might as well have had a no trespassing sign on it. Ordinary folks, fishing folks, and regular folks, we just weren't going to be invited to the party, you know what I mean? He's right. Of course I'm right. And don't forget about the bigger picture of the story either, Lucky. The bigger picture? Yes. The history part. Jeez, you're a terrible storyteller. I'll tell him. This area used to be famous for its piers. They had fishing piers, amusement park piers, dance hall piers, you name it. You could do it on our piers. Heck, for a while you could even go bowling or even roller skating on this pier. Look it up. Anyway, we had all these piers. Venice had a big one, roller coasters, restaurants, and all. And they suddenly started to disappear. Venice burned down in 1946. Ocean Park had the most famous one, always a huge amusement park. Made it back into Pacific Ocean Park back in the 50s and 60s. Bankrupt and burnt by 1970. This pier, the Santa Monica Pier, was the last one standing, the only one left. And now Scott and his cronies want to tear it down? Boo! Boo! You can tell them the rest, Lucky. Thanks, Diana. But I'll be eavesdropping, just in case you screw up. <laughs> I appreciate that. Well, there you have it, some background. I never was much of a history buff, but she's got it right. Now, let's see, we had, uh, Colleen out running to find her boyfriend in the Sierra Club, and we had um, George out rallying up all the merchants, and Jack planning, and Larry keeping us all organized, and everybody else just trying to get the word out. Pretty good stuff. Excuse me. Huh? It's a fine story you're telling here. A real people's story, indeed. 
in the world, and yet we have this. Why? It's a monstrosity. Oh, but look at all the people who love it, right? Yeah. Yeah. The pier may be charming to some folks. I'm sure it's everyone to their own brand of poison. But I wonder how much the taxpaying community should be paying for all of this charm. It takes quite a lot of tax dollars to maintain a pier. I've got a question. For me? Or for both of you? Go ahead and ask. You brought this island plan to the people a few years back, right? Yes, we did. We put it on the ballot. And the people voted against it. Yes, they did. So why don't we get to vote on it again? Fuck, if we were to let the voters decide on every issue, it would be tantamount to anarchy. Really? Now, uh, what I'm sure Mr. Scott here means to say, of course, is at this time it's different. How so? Oh, well, well, when I was on the pier a couple of years ago, it was a bond issue. We were asking the citizens to pay for it. Understandably, they said no. However, this time Mr. Scott has brought in a developer. Someone to pay for it. How much? Sixty million dollars! Sixty million dollars?! Holy smokes! That must be some island. Some island? Indeed. And you really believe this is the best thing for Santa Monica? I most certainly do. Well, that's too bad. How so? Because I'd say you've got a pretty good fight on your hands. <laughs> I sincerely doubt that. You'd be surprising how supportive the new community will be towards development if they don't have to pay for it. The funny thing about surprises is that they can be very unpredictable. Yes, well, we really must be going now. Much city business to attend to, right, Mr. Scott? That is correct. Oh, and thank you all for coming out here today. And may you always keep a warm place in your heart for this fine city and the people who make it so wonderful. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, picket sign, singular. They're never very effective, are they? So, you can see what we were up against. Anyway, our gang of heroes was making great progress in rallying people against the island, rallying them to save Santa Monica Bay. Just before the new year, we got voters to pass Proposition 20. No new development in the bay. Pretty clever, huh? We didn't stop there. The island had already been approved, but we still aim to fight it. And somehow, some way, someone brought in a great new supporter for the cause. The Sierra Club. Yeah. And there were other allies too, like the Los Angeles County Lifeguards Association and the Western Surfers Association. Oh, right on! Surfers love the pier! 